everybody. Sorry about that delay. Can we all hear each other? Yeah, I can hear you, Tom. Hey, guys. Maya. Hey, James. Happy How's everybody doing? Doing good. We're fine. Good. Good. I'm a little slammed. Um, so, but Faith got us on. Faith was, I think Faith just um, had other things going and she missed. So here we are. So let me go ahead and we'll just Get the meeting to order. I've got the agenda here. Um, and I don't see anyone else. Assuming there's anybody in the waiting room, I think Faith let everybody in. So, and we are recording. So here we go. Um, uh, let's call to order the guiding principles to strategic planning ad hoc committee for today, Wednesday, June 22nd. Um, and it is 108. PM. Uh, so thanks all for coming. Let's do roll call. Uh, Melissa Newt. We can all see each other. <laughs> I've just got to do it for that. So Tom Blue Rock. I'm here. Uh -huh. Wife and, um, here. and James Butch. Thank you. Um, all right. So second on the agenda is the approval of the minutes. Um, it was approval of the minutes for June 1st and also for June 15th. Um, can I, is there a motion or do we need to discuss um, the minutes? Well, I wasn't there, so I can't. Well, you were here on June 1st. You weren't here on June 15th. Are you looking for a motion? Yes. Are you ready for a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for June 1st and June 15th. Can I get a second? James, you have I'll second it. I wrote them. Yeah, good. <laughs> 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 I have a motion by New to the second by James Willett. Uh, all in favor? All okay. right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Motion is unanimously approved. Thank you. All right. Um, so now we can dig into the work. Um, we have um, the review discussed the city of Bloomington organizational strategic plan, mission values, um, and vision, goal statement. Um, why? If, so I did not do anything with the slide deck from the last, um, our last conversation because I, I didn't you know that I could, I didn't want to mess it up, honestly. Um, but I'm hoping that maybe folks had a chance, I'm sorry it didn't get out till Monday night, um, to look at the notes from the 15th, um, if you did. Um, so Melissa and James and I were here and I feel like had some good conversations. Um, so let's kind of, I, I have my notes here too, just to, to reference for myself, but um, I don't know if others have theirs, but maybe we can bring up the slide deck. Um, do yeah. you have it or do you want me to do it? I've got it. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and, and I noticed in the, someone has to give me a share screen. I noticed in the comments, I think someone mentioned that 20 and 22 were the identical. They are, what I'm trying to do is like, create a new section each time in the deck as our work progresses. So we have all the historical too, um, just as a, just to make it easy. Okay. So this was from six, eight, next steps four, six, eight. So this could be a little outdated draft of the vision statement, 2022 categories, goals, and values. Do we have them right next credit? Start to think about the mission statement. Um, I, so I, I guess I'll just leave it with you guys since I wasn't here. Okay. And maybe even you can do a little, um, editing on the fly. I don't know. Sure can. Yep. With that. Um, so let me just, and I'm sorry, we're going to do a little backtracking, but I think that that probably just makes the most sense. Um, and I will readily admit I'm not so wonderfully prepared. 
prepared for today. I think for a few of us, the flood situation has kind of swamped us with other things. Um, so the vision statement, um, some of the comments that were made is several of us said that we liked the, the, um, the format of this with the bulleted statements. It was very much like how Toronto had done theirs. And I think that that seemed, um, so, so the, the suggestion was that we liked the format. Um, there are other, there, are, there was another suggestion about people love living here, perhaps to say that the people that love living here um, might be better, might be a better use of the, like better language, I guess. People, um, say, say that again, I'm sorry. People that? The people that love living here. I mean, I don't quite that's understand. That statement, you're sort, is sort of talking for other people rather than saying what your goals are. Whereas the other statements kind of are telling you sort of what your vision is for the, for the town. You know, I'm not sure you need that last statement. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of it either, just to, just to throw okay. that out there. I, I, I think there's something here in this first statement that embodies that. Um, uh, I, I, I also think that again, and I know I covered this two weeks ago or whatever, but that there's a lot of it's perspectively subjective, right? Which is a difficult goal to obtain. Um, where these other ones are, we're either a welcoming, inclusive community. We either honor our character, or we and we maintain our relationship to the open land. Those are like objective standards that we could argue about, right? They're not well. And the first one is. Livingston, Livingston, without the modifiers, Livingston is a community. The second one is kind of, does it, is it a subject? It's, a, it's sort of something you want to do. And the third one is something you want to do. And shouldn't those statements kind of sort of be in the same format that way? Yeah. We could say that we, that we welcome and I, I don't know how, I don't know how, that's I don't know how to fix that but but it seems like they're they're just sort of not in the same they're, they're not talking about this the second and third talk about something you want to do and the first one ta talks about what you are what you want to be yeah yeah, yeah I'm not sure how you, and I think the I think the second I think I like the simplicity of those three statements. Yeah, it's you don't want to get too much in there. I mean, you would you would you would just change this to Livingston will be a welcoming, inclusive, economically vibrant community that honors its character while maintaining its relationship to the open land. That could that could be a way of saying it, rather than as bullet points. Bullet points should all have the same format, I think, especially in something like this. I have a question, uh, Carrie. I was just thinking um, maybe it would be helpful when we think about, well, any of the points, but this point in particular to like widen the lens a little bit and think what was, what was the um, intent or the goal with this statement specifically? And what was it, what was it reaching for that the other statements were? So I wonder if we could like pull back a little bit on this one particular one and try to get a better understanding what this one was getting at that the other ones weren't getting at. Do you mean this state and the people love living here? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Sure. Because it seems, because I think we've all sort of, not everybody has been on every call, which is totally fine, but we're all on it together now. So maybe it's a good time to like sort of revisit this one with a wide lens and a goal. So I'm going to, I can start by saying, I think, you know, when this was brought up, it was the one thing we haven't really talked about is, um, and this is true about Livingston. And I think this is something that people love about this place. Um, for example, everything we've been through in June is like this example of how people engage with Livingston and how people are just like, so invested here 
and like so actively participating in community here. And I think that is something that's different and special and that people want to maintain that part of Livingston. And I don't know that the other points get at it. So I wonder what you think if you, if your thoughts or impressions differ than mine, differ from mine. Uh, just to just to do a listening check, you're talking about capturing a, a participant, a participative community. That concept that we that we are participating, that we're yeah, together. I think, I think there's something why about that sort of the way people are in reciprocity here is unique and it's different from other places where people are really like engaging with each other in the place and it's. So I think yes, but I don't have the words for it yet. Because I think we're really we're really starting to put language to things that people have had trouble putting words to about Livingston for a long time. That is the hard part. Um, but I think that first statement is trying to get to what you're talking about. But inadequately, I would agree. Right, yeah, and yeah. I mean, the second one talks about sort of the form of the town which are calling its character. And then we talk about the open land, which I think is, in, but that, well, should, should, that, should that first statement maybe be broken up into a couple? I'm not sure that people love living here as a good, you're really talking about what somebody else thinks rather than, uh, so I'm, I'm not crazy about saying it that way, but maybe, Maybe that first one just tried to do too much and it could be broken up. I mean, what you were what you were talking about, Melissa, is kind of a, you know, sort of welcoming, participatory, you know, or let's just say an engaged community. How's that? Well, I love to hear. I love to hear too from like what other people were thinking we were get, trying to get at with this statement. Yeah, I mean, like what, like what, you know, and I think James, you were the one that sort of um, got us thinking about this. Like, I wonder what other folks think too about what were we getting at that the other points weren't getting at. Yeah, I just wanted to say that the, I mean, you have your land, you have your buildings. That's great. You also have to have the, the human aspect of it, the people that are here, the people that are the city residents. So I guess the nature, the, the, the flavor of the people that live here determine whether or not uh, the city comes or goes. So, I mean, I, I'm not married to the idea. I'm just thinking there's something that we're missing as far as a the the human aspect of it, the personal aspect of this vision of the city of Livingston. Yeah, this Toronto did that is a caring city, mm -hmm. which is as close to what you're getting at here. I just wanted to see how they wrote it. Um, sense of, so Hamptons have a sense of community pride is how they got at it. I think I like what Melissa was saying about sort of the engagement of the community or the, uh, uh, you know, a, a really active, I, I keep coming back to engaged. I'm not sure that's the right word, but I like what you said because I think it is something that we can say about ourselves and what we aspire to, which I think is what a vision statement kind of is. Um, and I was looking at my notes from last week too that I had just scribbled down and I had written something like people are engaged living here. People love to be engaged living. These are just some stuff I had jotted down last week. You know, if you take, if you take economics out of it, maybe make that a separate, maybe make that a separate line item. You know, a welcoming include Welcome the inclusive and engaged community. Participatory, another word for engaged. I like engaged because it's kind of general and it, and it does say that people are engaged. It doesn't say how, but it says that, you know, it's, it's a pretty, pretty clear, I, I kind of like that word, but others speak up. 
Melissa James, Bob. I would put community in the first bullet. I know I'll probably be the outlier here, but I'll say it anyways. The inclusive gets used so frequently in a political format. I, I don't know how thrilled I am with that word. I love engaged. I love participatory. I love caring. Um, I think those are all great words. And if I'm on the outside on that one, that's fine. But it just sort of. I see get around used a lot and I feel like it it does lose its value by overuse. It's, it's, I feel like there's a lot of other synonyms that we can get to that, that strike a little closer to where we're, we're getting at. What if you it, just had a welcoming, engaged, and caring community? Melissa, Carrie, what are you guys thinking? Kill inclusive. I'm thinking we did just get some kind of award actually for like yeah. equity and inclusion. So I do think that, that it's important because we've been recognized at like, I think it was national level um, for a town our size. Um, but also I'm thinking about um, what are people wanting from us as local government? And I think, or, or like, like, how our community is, especially, I can't help but think of like the last couple of weeks and the words um, supportive and resilient keep coming to mind right now also. Um, those, are, those are really good. Yeah, because I think- Resilience is a great word. But also like supportive, I think, um, because there's all sorts of interesting ways that agencies and government and individuals like really help each other in this town. Um, I think it's worth noting and putting in word, putting in writing. It's just, it's just, it just starts to get a little wordy when you put. Well, I'm just putting them all down. I mean, you, you can't. We oh, can't. I, no, I've, I've got it. I've got it. I, I just, I know, I hear you on the inclusive, Melissa. I'm just, I'm throwing another. It that word's been fairly weaponized politically. I, I find it to be divisive now in some circles. I don't really care. Like, I'm not going to worry about words like that, but. It's not I mean, always it's not always inclusive as an inclusive word is I right, guess what I, I'm trying to make. I guess there's other words in here that um, for me that have different um, meaning or lack of meaning. Like the word character is something that's used all the time in government and like on all of our boards and it's not defined. Um, so at some point I have to sort of like, for me personally, like what is it? Perfection is the enemy of good. And like, are we moving in the right direction? And are we like, I'm asking myself, right? Are we moving in the well, right direction? And sort of like getting to language, um, that vision idea. So that's kind of where I'm coming at. Why well, I hear what you're saying. Um, and also I recognize that we're probably all people on this subcommittee that self-identify as part of the dominant culture. And like, who is not at these tables that are part of Livingston. And so like how, how do documents like these influence who feels welcome and encouraged to join these government groups in the future? So it's kind of like what my head is going to is like, how do we help define and create spaces where the people we're missing feel welcomed? And so that's why I'm thinking that inclusive is okay with me. Yeah, I, I find it alienates people though. I, I kind of agree with you, Wyeth. Yeah. What about, I just, I just did a synonym search of inclusive, all embracing. Why don't you say, say embrace it? Embrace yeah. it. You don't need to say all embrace it. What I like to, be, I, I, just sort of backing up from this a minute, we have three, we sort of have three components that we're liking. We're, we're liking the people the, the place, and then the context. Yeah. Meaning, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And I, and I, I think those three, I, I think it's nice. I think statements go well in threes. And, and uh, 
So we're, so we're making statements about those three things. And the question is kind of, what do we want to say about it? Yeah. I mean, I think, I think a community that's caring and resilient is really an awesome thing to go for. I mean, well, and caring can mean a lot of those things. It can mean inclusive. We're, we're sensitive to people. We're, 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 um, we welcome outsiders. We yeah, welcome yeah, tourists. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, we, you, you know, you can't say all those things, but caring is a pretty good word. And, it, and it's, and like you say, Wyeth, it isn't charged. No. Melissa, go ahead. What? I'm getting at something, I'm thinking of a word, Wyeth, that you've brought up in other context. I think it was you, like equitable application of the law. I'm wondering what you think of equitable. I e think e that- Equitable is great. I think that um, it's important to use some strong words also. Um, I think equitable is stronger than the other ideas and gets about, at the heart. Do we want an equitable and resilient community? I mean, I do. <laughs> I think that's I think that's as close as we've gotten to describing this without, uh, you know, words that don't really mean anything like love, in general. You know, like they're well, too and general. I, and they're, and they're a little and a little sap. Are we are we killing include? Are we? we I think we're going. I I I'm ec equitable and uh, resilient is is very close to the mark for me. There's probably some sort of feeling word that we need added in there though, mm -hmm. but like. Equitable feels a little sterile sometimes. Um, well, and and I still like yeah, what engaged gets to, which is what Melissa was talking about. You know, I'm not sure there's the right word or not. Is 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 the fact that people are active? They're not. They're not just resilient. In other words, we 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 do everything when we're, when we we're facing some kind of adversity or equitable meaning we like it, you know, we're, we're, we're accepting of everybody, but you know, it really is, it really is, you know, an engaged community. People care about things and people are involved, you know, in a, in a, in a way that is really hard to find other places. For those of us who have lived in a lot of places, I think that's important. James, I, I'm sorry, Wyeth, you were from you in a moment, so I just thought I wanted to check in. No, I'm just reading, seeing what's going on. I don't have anything that's striking me as. Are we? Are we still? I don't like leave, leaving in people love living here. Does anybody like that? No, I, I don't. I don't like it. Let that go. I think so. A community that is engaged, equitable, and resilient. Uh, this is not right. Mark. Yeah. Just like we should be, or do we need to do we need to say, do we need to say about do we need to do we need to talk about the economy? People, I, I, I feel pretty strongly. You got to talk about the economy. It's tough to do things in a, an economically depressed environment. Well, or is you have to make, and the government has a lot of impact on its ability to create a market. Well, um, or or is this the place to say that? I don't want to go. I don't want to go back to 2007, 2005. I'd like to. I love where we're at. I don't think anybody's saying that. But no, what I'm saying by that is, you've got values and goals and and other places where where you can address that. I, I just feel really passionate that the that passionate. if you're gonna if you if, if you have a community that's that you want to have be positive, engaging, it has to be economically sound. You can't have people who are fine, fine, fine. I stop work. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. Right. I'm, no, okay. Let's, it's let's I'm not quite as passionate about it as Allie's, but I'm pretty passionate about it. Tom. Melissa, I kind James. of don't think it's the city's business, but I mean, <laughs> well, the, the city. So cities and counties. It's got to take care states, of its own business first, right? But cities, counties, and states can set and define markets. They can create markets that allow things to incur well or don't. And that that is the role of government is to define think, the regulations that control markets. Really create markets, but they certainly facilitate things. And oh, 
Oh, they absolutely create markets. Regulations define markets. If you, for instance, we go uh, back to the- uh, I'm not, let's um, not argue about this. Uh, let me, so let's stop. Let me have her take a breath. Um, and then, good. so, so we're talking about economy. I think we know where, where Tom is. We know where wife is. Uh, Melissa, thoughts on economy? Yeah, I mean, this is me speaking as somebody who listens to the community, not as a, I'm not speaking as like, what's my personal stance on this as much as like, what do I think that our community thinks? What I hear from people that live here is that they do want um, definitely economically vibrant and also diverse. I think a lot of people want more economic diversity. Um, that's what I hear from people who live here. Like, I think that's part of the resiliency. So I think economic diversity and vibrancy um, and knowing that like, yes, government has like a limited role and also government has a role, just like with each one of these things, government can't mandate all of the things in the vision, but we can certainly like keep these things in mind when we're thinking and talking about policy what, and how does policy that? influence it. So I just really want to finish Tom. Um, oh, sorry. So I would, I would add something about diverse also with economy, because I think that's one thing that Wyeth was getting at was um, when all of our eggs are in one basket, it's not particularly resilient. So economic diversity. And I don't want to just say that the downtown is the only important thing. And also people are especially focused on our downtown when they're talking about economic diversity. Although I think it's important to think downtown think and the rest of town, at least for me, Carrie. I don't think that says downtown at all. It just says it's talking very general what if you right, move so the word what if you move the word community up to the top and say livingston is a community that is engaged equity oh i see where you're on yeah but because all these relate to community and you know you you, you only want to use that word once So I'm going to chime in um, about economics as well. I'm just going to say that I I like economic diversity that's vibrant because after this last week and trying to figure out what we're all going to do when the park closed, um, which is where my world is at the moment, um, is you know we're we're learning some lessons here and we're going to have to you know find some new ways forward as well. Um, so I think. I, I like that economic diversity um, aspect of this. Tom, I do, I'm, I'm liking that, you know, I think this Livingston is a community that is, and then engaged, equitable, and resilient, economic diversity that is vibrant, that maintains its relationship to the open land. Um, James, where are you at? Yeah. Let's, let's have James chime in here. Go ahead, James. Um, I guess I don't have any disagreements. Why don't you like, come on, there's something. I, I feel like we're, I don't, well, I don't think, I don't think. I have something I've been thinking about for something else though, for, uh, but this part right here, I, I'm, I'm fine with, I don't, I'm, don't have a problem with that. I've been thinking about something else for other city plans that I looked at for the last week. So I'm looking to move forward for that. Okay, okay. Right, yeah. I'm just looking at the words without, like the second one, a community that is vibrant and, and diverse economically. It just is more like the other one that, that it, it, a community that is honors its character is not a sentence. Yeah, no, I'm wondering. Oh, we haven't gotten there. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just those are all just form things. I mean, those four bullets should complete the sentence. If you, Livingston is a community that is. And that's just a form thing. I'm going to ask, 
I think that we're getting close here, um, on, but I'm wondering, honors its character. Where are we at on that one? I, I think for me, I don't, I don't want to use these words, but I'll just like, I'll just figure it out. There's, there's a rich and incredible divert. Like, there's like a, a really rich history around Livingston that is dynamic and it is really the downtown I don't want to get too focused on the downtown but the downtown and the river and like Sacagawea Park there's like a and well I'll go back to the alley conversation there's a there's sort of this like there's an intrinsic nature to the community that I would like to maintain that is in the space and I, I think we had the historic character I think historic's one of those words that for some people is difficult if there's another way like um, that we could we could kind of weave that in, that's what I'm trying to get to here. Like, I don't wanna like, you know, put up a skyscraper in the middle of downtown necessarily, you know, like that just doesn't quite fit, yeah. right? So, you know, I, I don't know. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I get oh. you. Cause I, I do feel like um, Livingston has a, yeah, there's a character to Livingston I think that we've all know about and see and I and, and I get that um, for sure. Like the city of Victoria, for instance, I, I really loved it. I went there for vacation a couple of times. They have a really aggressive and active historical preservation society to preserve Victoria into this really great community. And that impacts what gets built and who can develop what and how and I think it's what makes it charming, right? So, so what, you, what you're talking about, I think, is is taking that third statement and beefing that up a little bit. I, I, I don't have an opinion about the language or beefing it up or not. I'm, I'm just saying this is what I was trying to get to well, for, there's for a, that if, statement. Well, if, if we're talking about the people, the economy, the place, and the, and the context, the, the place is the place is the is is sort of the statement that would sort of include what you're talking about, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm getting to. And you could you could call it tradition, you could call it historic character, you could call it and that's context. I just liked your framing, I didn't want to lose it. Yeah, no that I, I it shows it, it shows the reason you have those four those four statements there. Yeah. And Melissa, I know you and I went rounds on historic a little bit. And I'm not married to that word, but thoughts on this? No, I mean I appreciate why what you're I appreciate what you're getting at because I think all of these true things are true and I think it's important. Um that we speak about things in a way that isn't um, contributing to erasure. So that's why I would just, you know, add some words to it that make it more um, complete. Like one thing I've learned from, from other people who are more deeply entrenched in this work is talking about layered history rather than just history starting at colonization, but like that this place has unique character and that goes way back, um, way back before settler colonialists arrived even. So I think there's a way to do that. Talking about history in the um, downtown, but also recognizing that it's more than that and goes further back in time. Right. So, yeah, my, my take's a little different. I'm, I'm not sweating. I'm not sweating the, the history or how we got to this place. What I'm saying is, is we've we've gotten to a place. I would like it to not like fundamentally deviate from where it is today, like not the fundamental intrinsic nature of the current reality. Like, I'm not trying to like I don't understand the past well enough. I, I'm not I don't. You know, I'm, I'm not, I try to understand all of our history to the extent I can, read a lot about it. 
all I'm saying is, is we've gotten to a really kind of cool place and like, I'd like to maintain its coolness. Like be cool. I don't know. I like, <laughs> you know, whatever that kind of nature is, you know, I don't think any of us want to see like Midwestern suburbia, you know, right. Like, so that's all my, my context around this is it's not in the, and again, that word like historic has connotations for different groups of people, you know, like it's, it's about preserving sort of the, the, the cool factor of the town and the community. It isn't really an homage to anything, right? Tradition. So you basically want to have it say like, keep Livingston weird. No, I'm yeah. Just like, like stay cool. Like, like, yeah. Like that's what I'm talking about. Right. Like, yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah. right. You know, and, and, and like the, a lot of this context spawned from Tom's perspective on alleys and the influence of that right? right like and I and I and I started to think about it and it was like yeah that that is a really interesting thing that created this town to feel a certain way right like totally mm -hmm. and and that's all I'm talking about like it, you know it's not I don't necessarily think weird describes us very well like we're not Portland but <laughs> I like you, I don't think you want to put weird in a vision state no <laughs> I don't think so either I was being tongue-in-cheek what about yeah, like I don't, you, I don't I don't need like to like I don't what need about to the word unique? Oh yeah. yeah, it's unique character is great. Like I don't need to maintain the the railroad history. That's not. I'm, I don't care about preserving railroads. I care about like, you know, does it feel really cool? You know, it's a neat place. Mm -hmm. Like Bozeman doesn't feel at all like Bozeman anymore. It, it's like I grew up there. It's not. It's just not. It's not Bozeman to me anymore. It's, it's very like different. Anywhere USA. Yeah, and Where you know you? that's fine. You know, you, you guys watch, you watch Yellowstone that the dad says to the kid in there, he's like, they, they're like, what's an out of towner? And he goes, a guy who comes from so really far away to where we live to make it like the place they came from. It's like, I'm not interested in that. Right. So the other word I heard you say was maintain. And I know we have that in a different bullet point, but like, it sounds like not just honoring the unique parts of Livingston, but also. I don't know. Preserve Fostering. is the right word, but ma maintain or Fostering. I actually want to see it grow. Like I'd love to see, like I love what Tom did with the Pennies building. I'd love to see more of that. Right. Like I want to see, I want to see us in, encourage, you know, again, in, in, encourage the, the economy to take a direction. You know, it's not very well done, but I like the fact that Manny cited the old guest house. So it doesn't look like a piece of junk and it fits into the, community right like i i think that's all good stuff right well i do so i just heard so just to kind of push this back so i just heard why i say fostering its unique character And, and I think character here goes to place, not to, not to people, right? We're not talking about yeah. people here. We're talking about yeah. place. Yeah. You could say physical character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just to get it a little clearer. Just to make, just to give it a little more clarity. feeling a lot closer yeah 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 i want I still, I still want to sort of make it livingston is a community that is and each of these statements completes a sentence so so this should be like fosters it's unique so livingston is a community that is or maybe just that maybe we need to get rid of the is get rid of the is i think it can be it can be is fostering is fostering get rid of the is in the top statement and make make the first line of, of each bullet point a verb. I think it's easier to keep the is and change. And, yeah, and yeah. Say, yeah, like is fostering, yeah, then it goes to is fostering this relationship that is vibrant, that is engaged. James, what did you say? 
Jim. Mm. I was just saying, if you're going to put is in the front, you just, or the at the beginning of each bullet point, you're just going to be repetitive. Yeah. And then you're adding. Well, no, if you're, you're going to add just a random verb. Yeah, you're just adding stuff for the sake of adding it. We could think of another verb, but but. Don't you, don't, I don't yeah, know whether it's important. Like that, fostering it's unique okay, physical wait. character. But Livingston is a community that is that maintains its relationship to the is not a sense. Well, we haven't got we haven't got the last one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we can. I, I think ultimately it wants to do that. Yeah, right. Melissa, you had your hand up. Wyeth read my mind. That was efficient. Thanks, Wyeth. <laughs> it's going to get weird in here. No, it's happening. It was all good until it got weird. Let's put it <laughs> All right. So when the going gets good, it's going to I'm gonna I'm gonna make a suggestion and you can tell me now. It is 147. We probably need to wrap up about 156, probably. Um I think that this is looking good. Should we leave it at leave this part here for us to look at and next week come back with any slight changes um because i also think james has got some stuff i know that um he wants to share with us about because i know he did some research is what i feel like i'm hearing from you um and that that might be helpful for us to hear in preparation for next week just does yeah, i would totally agree with that and okay. does anybody have the only thing I'd ask is if anybody knows somebody who's a pretty good writer, it might be nice just to run this by them and just get their, like Max jumped into my head, Carrie. Okay. Like yeah. he's, he's just a great writer and I'm not, so. Sure, I can share. I will share with Max and see if he can give us any um, feedback. And Tell him to writing. channel his haiku class. That'd be great. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but, but we like... We like sort of what it's saying, right? Yes. We're just, yes, we're just really yes. questioning about how it's being said. Yeah. Perfect. A little Perfect. bit. Just, that's where it needs the tweaks. I, I think we've done some really good stuff today. Yes, I think this is great. So let's, James, I'm going to pick on you. And because um, because I'm hearing some, and I did a little research just because I wanted to have some stuff ready. I don't have a whole bunch to report back, but James, I'd like to hear from you. Um, and then maybe that'll help kick us in the direction for next week. And I know you're taking notes too, so thank you so much for multitasking. Yeah, of course. So uh, thank you. The, the last meeting that we had, we were discussing the goal of infrastructure, and we all had a kind of an issue about, or I guess the three of us had an issue about uh, how that was fitting in with the goal set. So I looked into a couple of cities that I'm familiar with. And that particular infrastructure goal um, will surprise, we're the only one that has something like that. Everybody else that I looked into has a land use plan and a future land use plan. And so the infrastructure falls under that guise because once you know what you're doing with the dirt, then the, the infrastructure comes after that. And so I was going to, um, I, I could send out the emails of the other two city comprehensive plans that I looked at that go about discussing everything just like we're doing, but then they use the land use plan as its, I'll say, infrastructure goal. And it's pretty cut and dry. It can get very granular, granular if you want. Uh, I don't think that's our purview just yet, but as a suggestion of just removing that as a as a goal, making four goals as it as they are, and then having a land use plan to uh, I'll say drive how you uh, access those goals or reach those goals. Where, where did that fit into this? Because I don't see infrastructure here, or is it? This is a follow up from this is a follow up from the meeting that um, you and Carrie, well, I think, no, you and somebody else missed. I can't remember if it was well, Wyeth or Carrie. Oh, so so let so we had a typo here. So why if you're on this screen where we have three like values and goals, we see integrity, integrity number three in the goals. Let me just oh. 
I'm getting, I'm getting there. Hold on, I have that paper copy. Um, number three in the goals is actually infrastructure. There we go. Um, and so we, so when you all last week, when you all, when we didn't have Wyatt and Tom, we were just kind of, we kind of just went through and sort of looked at values and goals and just had a, some discussions about it. And we really got hung up on the infrastructure and uh to just it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense and like when you dig into i don't know if you can see my camera into the body of the strategic plan when you really get in here there's infrastructure and you can probably kind of see it at the top but then there's this whole disclaimer too in here which we were just like this just seems like it doesn't fit so yep. we got a little hung up on that um, and I think we went to kind of look at other um, communities to see like what they were doing with infrastructure to, to maybe do something different. So, and that's a that's got to be a byproduct of the fact that historically we haven't really thought forward about infrastructure, probably because we didn't have a land use plan in the past, right? I mean that that's what that's got to be a byproduct of. Which now we do, or we're trying to have one. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh. The growth policy is a pretty, is really, is really a land use plan. It's a, well, it's, the growth policy uses the land use plan, but the land use plan is down block by block, address by address. Like it is very granular about exactly what's going on. I don't see that happening inside of the strategic plan. No, necessarily. not the place for it. But uh, you know, the, the city has made a fairly strong statement about sort of, what its land use character is and where that should go. And uh, what you're a lot So of we're, su we're maybe suggesting that three just goes away and and we either, re we add in land use or replace something else. Is that the general suggestion here that infrastructure finds its way out of here for a goal? Just becomes more general, yeah. Wow, yeah, so we were looking at flipping the list and taking out infrastructure. What do you mean by flipping the list? Well, you know, they may not necessarily have been originally listed in order of importance, but people's brains automatically do that. They'll put them into order. And okay. so the number one thing for a community, the number one city thing for a city is to provide safety and health, safe health and wellness. And so that's where I see five should be really number one. Good. Public engagement number two. Mm -hmm. Wait, yeah. that's Point of order, Carrie, yes. can, can we just, we already had this conversation. Can we just like work on making sure that the notes and the updates go to everyone that missed that and then take time to look it over before we meet next and include also in the next agenda, James's research so that all the public has access to that as well. Just, I know we're getting late and so I wanna make sure. Yeah, I, so let's just, go I ahead. I agree with his, with his, I think, I think his, his order reshuffle is really good. It's, it's absolutely right. Does anybody disagree with that? No, that's what I was getting at, I guess, Tom, is that we went, we talked about this quite in depth the last yeah, time. Too. I'm, I'm saying I agree with yeah. you. Yeah, so the three of us that were on agreed too. Yeah. yeah. And I can, so why don't we do this just because I know we're getting late. Um, so let's, James, if you'll share your research with us. I wrote Carrie, down, I, Carrie uh -huh. we can't send information in a forum via email because we're subject to open meeting laws. But if he sends it to you, it can go on the next agenda and then we'll be transparent and following the constitution. Perfect. Okay. So James sent it to me. I'll attach it to the next agenda. Um, James, if you want to include in this week's notes that order of goals that we had talked about so we can look at that again next week and then wife will have it in writing as well. And I... I see it. I had it written as one safe and safe and safe and healthy. I just I think I just made quick notes. Two public engagement. Three financial stewardship. Four quality workforce. Or I guess why well, if you can just change it. 
in front of you. Are they just flipping at his phone? Yeah. Yep, just like that. And then this is for discussion next week, you're saying? Yeah, we can. Good. We'll discuss that next week. When I send out the agenda, it will have the research attached that James did, and so you can have a look at that. Um, okay. Why, if any other homework you feel like we should be prepared with? No, I think I think goals is great. Did Did we... I didn't notice any notes on values in the notes. Did we, have we, we done any work on values yet? Okay. So think about values and let's work on goals next go around. And then you'll maybe see if somebody can take a pass at some language here. Yes, I will do that. That okay. sounds, that all sounds great. Perfect. Great. Okay. So I'm going to find my agenda. I um, just want to close our, our discussion on this. Um, any member, I'm going to go through members. So if anybody has any additional comments, uh, you can do that now. The member comments, we'll start with uh, Melissa. Uh, any comments? Uh, thanks everybody for coming and engaging. And thanks James for doing the research and Wyeth for all your um, public typing, which is yeah. greatly appreciated. I appreciate that you're all here, especially given. Yeah, you know, sorry for last week. I just was in, I was literally shoveling silt out of a basement. So sorry. I'm sorry you were shoveling silt, and we all understand. I, would, I just didn't. I, I, didn't I was away, account. and I got a, I got a, uh, I got a meeting code that didn't work. Oh so shoot! Well, I'm sorry that that happened. I, I don't know. I, I tried to log in. I couldn't do it. All but, right. So that was Melissa's comment. So then let's do. Why? Go ahead. Any comments? Nope. Okay. Uh, James, any comments? No, okay, I'm gonna shake head. Tom, any comments? Oh, no, I think we've made them all. Great, no comments from me. I do need to, I don't see anybody from the public. Um, Y'all, I need some help. I don't, I can't find my stop screen share. Somebody remind me where, oh, there. Huh. Yeah, thanks, bye. Okay. I don't see any um, public. No public, so no comment from the public. Um, so I will just, end the meeting by saying thank you all. Um, we have some um, work to do moving forward. And may I, can I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Okay. Right, moved by Tom, second by Wyatt. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you all for being here. Bye everybody. We'll see you next week. <laughs>